one more time with a little more power. Hit, bring it right back. Hit, bring it right back. Do not delay. Ready, left hand, left foot first. A lot of people want to train because they want to be tough, they want to be this, that, but for women, we want to survive. And you're looking at your target, which is the person's neck. We want to protect against assault. We want to not get raped. We want to not get harassed. We want to not get killed or kidnapped. When you strike, you look at the target, the cultural values promoted through our work of survival arts. This is the only one that is women only. We ready. We ready. Yeah, hands up. Three, four. And then once we're here, the attack comes, guess what? Now you have access to their vulnerable parts. You're moving out of danger. The main purpose of stepping into warriorship is to protect the family and to protect our survival as community, as tribe, as and our culture. Our motivation is very different from men, and that's what unifies us in this work. One more time. We create fighting systems. Women, we create it. Survival Arts Academy was created in Bacolod City, Philippines, actually to protect women and children against violence and sexual assault. The message for us in survival arts is that we're not looking to fight, we're looking to survive, to escape, and to protect our family. I think it's really important for us to understand that the conceptualization of warrior in relationship to patriarchy does not look the same as when we connect it to the matriarchal lens. This is a movement led by women, militant women, holding down land liberation, self-determination, and fighting. They are warriors. Women are able to hold this relationship um, to that protection and that violence in a way that also um, asks for us to move forward in creation. Silat came from a woman named Burst Silat in Indonesia and Malaysia. She created her fighting system by watching a crane and a tiger fight to the death. Filipino martial arts as an umbrella term really encompasses hundreds of systems. Every family and every island developed their own fighting system to fight against the oppressor. So remember that when you're here, you're doing this work not only for yourself but for everyone who could not do it. And so in my view, one of the purposes of survival arts is to reclaim this as an indigenous fighting system to protect the women and children it was always meant to protect. Yeah, let's train, yeah? Okay, let's get up. It's time. Hands up. Go! One, move! Two, three, four, move! Five, six, Again, one! Pikiti Tershakali is a specific system that came from the Bacolod region. The word Pikiti comes from Pikit, which is to come in or to get stuck. This is what you're working with. Tersha is actually Spanish for thirds or try. So when you're moving, notice you're moving inside or outside the body. The idea is close quarters combat. And so this drilling is really thinking about an attack. And so everything about Pikiti Tershakali is about fighting with the blade. How many blades do we have? at all times. So you'll never see us touch the stick. We believe that's a blade, so we don't touch, we come in. Big hand, cut me. Good, cut, cut down. Good, cut down, good, cut down, cut down. Yeah, okay, yes, ready, go. You know, in this existence, like violence is very real. And we as women are faced with so much of the way that violence it shows up physically, emotionally, uh, spiritually for us because of the ways of the constructs of patriarchy. If they're not letting you go, go for the attack. Go for the attack until you can get out. This system is actually the only Filipino fighting system that is the official fighting system of militaries around the world. And that's because it works. It's a very effective art. Cut down, straight down, good. Cut! So the Pekiti Tertia work really fortifies our bodies and also our courage and our ability to walk in the world in a good way and to be able to be vigilant so that we can protect and survive. Four, five, six, seven, our philosophy is we believe in life, we don't believe in death. We believe in success, we don't believe in failure. We believe in good health, we don't believe in sickness. If you go to another Piki to Tershakali space, you won't find this because this is the only one that is women only. And so survival arts is, you know, what really 
started as a healing circle and a training space, has now become a movement to protect women and children all over the world. That's the vision of survival arts. Thank you.